This watch is called the Royal One and it is made by a company called Did and Design. And today on Watch World, I'm going to be talking about whether I think this watch is the best affordable alternative to the Audemars Piguet Royal Oak. So let's get straight into it. So welcome back to Watch World, everyone. I hope you are all keeping well and safe. Before we start today's video, quick wristwatch check as usual. And today I am wearing my Richard Legrand Odyssey dive watch. This is a recent addition to the collection and there will be a review coming of this watch in the very near future. So today, as I said, we're gonna be talking about a watch by a company called Did and Design. And anyone who knows watches will know that this particular piece here, the Royal One, is a blatant homage of the Audemars Piguet Royal Oak. But is this watch in front of me good value for money? Now on Did and Design's official website, this watch is priced at 169.99 euro. But on AliExpress, you can find it for in and around 70 euro. On eBay, you can get them for even cheaper, uh, pre-owned obviously, um, usually between 40 and 50 euro. You can get it in both automatic and quartz movements and a variety of bracelet colors and dials also. So let's take a look at the measurements to start off with, okay? So in terms of case diameter, this watch comes in at 42 millimeters. If we look at the log to log, it's quite a large log to log, 51.7 millimeters. And then if we look at the thickness, we have a thickness of just under 12 millimeters. So how does this shape up to the Royal Oak? Well, the standard Royal Oak is 41 millimeters in case diameter, although it is obviously available in other sizes also, but is generally considered a 41 millimeter watch. In terms of thickness, the Royal Oak comes in at 10.4 millimeters. Uh, which is thinner than the Didden design due to the slimmer Audemars Piguet movement over the chunkier Miyota movement that is inside this watch. So as I said, inside the watch we will find the Miyota 8215 movement. We can see it here through the display case back. This movement has a 42 hour power reserve. It beats at 21,600 beats per hour. It has 21 joules, features a date function, and has an accuracy rating of minus 20 to plus 40 seconds a day. On the case back, it says 30 water resistant. I'm guessing that means 30 meters rather than 30 bar. Uh, if it is 30 meters, that is actually quite surprising given that the watch has a screw down crown. Usually that would indicate that it would have at least 100 meters of water resistance, but there you go. Uh, I take it as it means 30 meters anyway. Speaking of the crown, that is one of the positives of this watch. The screwing in and out is very smooth and the crown settings are very distinct and easy to operate. There are two negatives that I have with this watch. The first is the lugs and the bracelet. Uh, the edges of the lugs here, here and on the other side are quite sharp uh, and at times they can really dig into your skin which can make it uncomfortable to wear at times. The butterfly clasp on the bracelet is fine, but the stiffness of the top links in the watch can make it look chunky on the wrist, and it does create gaps in between the bracelet and your skin. Rather than falling straight down and hugging your wrist comfortably, as most stainless steel bracelets would do, like on this RLG Odyssey here, the Didden Design bracelet kind of sticks out because the top few links are so stiff and it creates a gap in between your skin and the watch, which makes it look chunkier uh, when you're wearing it on the wrist. The second negative is the dial. I think a dark date wheel would have been better to go with the blue dial. Uh, the white kind of sticks out a bit like a sore thumb, but look, not the end of the world. The square pattern that we associate with the Royal Oak is actually done quite well on this watch. That's actually a positive of the dial, but the main negatives I have are the indexes at the 12 o'clock and the Didden Design logo are in no way straight 
whatsoever. Uh, the two uh, indices, sorry, should I say not indexes, the two indices we have here at the 12 o'clock look like they're skewed from left to right, going from top to bottom. Uh, and also at the 6 o'clock, I think going from bottom to top, it is skewed from right to left. The other markers around the... Um, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 seem fine to me. They look straight enough. But the 12 and the 6 look uh, wonky to me. And, you know, it's just a simple issue that should have been easy to fix. But again, with these homage watches, you do lack a bit of quality control. Also, the Didn't Design logo is in no way straight. If you look at it from top to bottom, it looks like it's going from right to left. Uh, so in the opposite direction that the 12 o'clock marker looks, it's kind of going, skewing in the other direction. Again, it's not a big deal, I suppose. Um, you know, if you're just glancing at your watch to look at the time, you, it, you wouldn't really notice it. But when you examine these watches closely, these are the kinds of things that do stick out. So those are my only two negatives of the watch. They're not deal breakers, as I said, and I suppose are to be expected for a watch under 100 euro. Uh, you're always going to have certain quality control issues. Overall, I think if you're looking for an AP Royal Oak homage, this is a great choice. This is a quick uh, look at what the watch looks like on the wrist. Uh, as we can see here, not too, um, uh, not too big for my 7-inch wrist. Again, you can see what I mean, that the uh, watch looks chunky, as the logs don't really hug the wrist, hug the wrist properly. Um, not the log, sorry, the bracelet links, should I say. They don't really hug the wrist properly, and you can see that here. But again, look, it's not the end of the world. Uh, I think this is a decent quality watch for the price. Not great, but decent. Um, let me know what you think of this piece down in the comments. I would love to know what you think of the Did and Design Royal One and how it compares as an affordable alternative to the AP Royal Oak. Guys, there we have it, a quick look at the Didn't Design Royal One. I want to say thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, take care, everyone.